morning, GMS. I'm Josie Fiesel. And I'm Anna Ball. Welcome to the GMS News Show of the week of October 18, 2021. Students, do not take the case off of your Chromebook. Your insurance will be void if you take off the case. If it does accidentally pop off, sign the form on the GMS page under the Parent tab. Yearbooks are still on sale at yearbookforever.com. There is a link at the GMS homepage. The current price is $35. The price does increase as the year progresses. Students, please remember to dress appropriately for after-school events and extracurriculums. If you ride a bus, you must wear a mask over your mouth and nose. Also, remember to keep your mask up during school hours. Students, picture retakes are this Tuesday, October 19th, if you want to retake your photo. A quick reminder about the dress code. Remember, all pants must be standard leg garments. Therefore, shorts, skirts, dresses, and more must be fingertip length or longer, with or without garments underneath. Thanks for your understanding. Now, let's go to the interview of the week, sports update, and top trending. Have a great week, everybody, and remember to stay safe. Welcome to the GMS News Show interview of the week. I am Annika Schaefer here with Guidance Office. Secretary Miss Tony, how are you today? I'm doing great. Thank you, Hanukkah. Yes. Question one, would you like to start by telling us a little bit about yourself? Um, I have been at Greenwood Middle School for, this is going on my 14th year. My first year I was um, an instructional assistant and helped and then I moved into the library. I was a library assistant for five and a half years and now I've been down in the guidance office the rest of the time. Cool. What do you like to do in your free time? I love to travel. Um, we try to travel as much as we can. I love to read. I love to do puzzles. Um, spend time with my girls and my husband and the rest of my family. Yeah. Cool. What is it like having to work by work next to Miss Metzger each day? Oh, no. Um, <laughs> no, actually, it's wonderful. <laughs> we get along very well um, and we have a good time. What is your favorite movie? Oh, well. Um, my favorite movie when I was growing up was Gone with the Wind. I think by the time I finished college, I had watched it 17 times and I had read the book twice. It's a little um, not appropriate anymore with um, the things in the South and, and what it uh, deals with, but growing up, that was my favorite movie. Cool. Did you have a job before working at GMS? If so, what was it? Oh, well, I've done lots of things. Um, I was an, an insurance underwriter when I got out of college in North Dakota. Then I worked for a dermatology office in California. And then when I moved here, I was a stay-at-home mom for probably 11 years, which I loved. Um, then I was a teller at the bank until I moved to the school. And then I moved around here a few times. So I like to try different things and learn new things. Cool. Thank you for coming to our show today, Mrs. Tony. Have a nice, great week. You as well. Thank you. Hello, I'm Aiden Johnson. And I'm Jenna Noll. Welcome to the top, top Trending, where we share the top weird and trending stories of the week. Let's get started with number one. According to Daga News, there is an exotic creature. It is a new reptile species small enough to perch on the top of a figure. The two adult specimens, a male and a female, called Bruxus nani, were discovered in North Madagascar's rainforest on, by an expedition team led by doc, Dr. Frank Law. The male nano chameleon measured from snout to vent at 0.63 inches. Unlike most other chameleons, the blo blotchy brown lizards do not change color. The scientists are not sure. The scientists are not sure how the specimens became so small. According number two, according to Daga News, there is a lot of animals that love snow. The animals in the south. Smithsons um, National Zoo were not going to let the snowfall go to waste, including the zoo's adult giant pandas, Mexican, and Tantan. A video was released on February 1st, 2021. 
The two are seen sliding downhill doing some somersaults and playing in the icy per- precipitation. T- Tian Tian uh, journeyed out of his way on the following day and joyfully rolled around in the snow with, with a ball. In December of 2023, the pandas will leave the zoo for the Wolong National Reserve in China. Number three, as reported by Dago News, there is a magician and daredevil, David Blaine. On on September 2nd, 2021, eight, 800,000 fans worldwide tuned in to the America's illusionist and endurance artist. David Blaine's YouTube channel, fans were there to witness his first major live event since 20, 2012. It's called the Ascent. A casento, a stunt involving Blaine slapping himself to, um, strapping himself to 52 helium balloons and soaring into the sky. You can check this event on YouTube. That's all for Top Trending, and have a great week, everybody. Hi, welcome to GMS Sports. I'm Elise. On Wednesday, October 20th, there will be sixth grade girls basketball at Franklin Community at 4:30 p.m. That's all for sports this week. Have a great week.